Hello everyone. So in this uh, series of videos, we'll discuss about statistics, the basics, or I can say introduction to statistics. So first, uh, we'll see what is the meaning. Generally, when we say statistics, we talk about collecting data, analyzing the data, uh, applying some uh, techniques, tools and techniques of uh, to use the data and analyze it. So the techniques, techniques or tools, whatever we use to analyze the data, and then finally coming to some conclusions. Here we call it as inferences. Right? So it, uh, the word statistics may, may mean different to different people. Uh, for example, for if you take a cricket fan, he may be talking about statistics about scoring runs, uh, taking wickets, number of maiden overs, and then number of sixes, number of boundaries. Uh, number of uh, singles taken, all those things may be a part of his statistics. To a bank, if you consider uh, any customer, what is the chance of him making his uh, repayment of his loan on time? That can become a statistics for him. So here he is trying to forecast the probability of his customer making payment on time or against the loan, whatever is being taken. And for a student, it can be about marks scored by him in various subjects or the ranks obtained by him in various uh, subjects. Uh, in a class, different students, what are the ranks being taken? So all this, they may call it as statistics. So it may differ, but overall, if you look into it, it is all about data or data collection, analysis and all those things. Then the history of statistics means Everybody says that it has been originated from this, from originated from that, but actually, confirmly you cannot say, but definitely we can say that it has come from the Latin word status, which is uh, the meaning is statesman, or it, you can say that it has come from Italian word statista, or German word statistic, French word statistic. All these are same, except that the spelling is uh, more or less uh, there is a little difference in the spelling in all these things. Uh, if you take into French word, it uh, generally uh, in French, you use uh, la, L-E for using, uh, instead of using in English, the, T-H-E, they use L-E. So here also you may notice that it is ending with E. German word, you can uh, almost uh, uh, see that it is statistic is uh, written more or less. I, I should actually put it as uh, let me this, this spelling should be ending with K almost like a swastik. It should be like it is very similar to swasti instead of in swastik also it ends with K almost it is similar here also. And the Italian word it is like statista which is very similar to your barista almost like that. So it, these are some of the things like uh, people say that it has originated from this word, from this word and this word like that. Even if you take India into consideration uh, during Chandragupta Maurya's uh, period, that is 4th century BC, uh, Kautilya's Arthasastra talks about records of births and deaths. So it is, it is having that much of uh, long uh, time it was used, statistics was obtained or statistics was implemented or used. Even in uh, Akbar's uh, regime during 16th century AD, Abu Fasal in his A.D. Akbari uh, mentioned about statistical records on agriculture during that period. And the very first cens census is supposed to be con conducted in Egypt by the Paro during 300 BC to 2000 BC. So these are all the background or you can say history of statistics, uh, how it is started being used or implemented. Some may say even uh, statistics are used even in Mahabharata to maintain the records of their army, how much horses they were having, how much, uh, how many elephants they were having. All those things are maintained by this uh, Nakul and Shagadev in uh, Pandava's side. That also people used to say, but uh, you don't have any concrete proof for all those things. But they also, in order to maintain, if at all, if those epics 
or to be considered as a reality, then definitely they need to maintain some sort of records, which you can call it as statistics. Hmm. Definition is concerned. It can be defined in two different ways. One is called as a singular sense and another one is a plural sense. So in singular sense, it is all about uh, scientific method that it is uh, that is employed for collecting, analyzing and presenting the data and finally leading to some statistical inferences about some specific characteristics like uh, average or standard deviation or anything. It can be anything. So basically it is considered as a science of counting or science of averages. Whereas in plural sense, statistics may be defined as a data, qualitative as well as quantitative that are collected, usually with a view of having a statistical analysis. Then uh, there are huge applications in statistics. We'll see some of them. Uh, one is in economics. We have time series analysis, index numbers, regression analysis. And in business management, you have uh, operations research techniques sampling techniques, decision theory and probability, commerce and industry, you have past data of sales, inventory, salaries and wages. It can be anything. It can be any past data. It can relate to any of the function. Here we spoke about marketing or materials or HR or functions. It can be related to administration also. It can be related to production planning also. It can be related to maintenance also. It can be related to uh, what you call quality control also. Of course, statistical quality control uh, is there and then wherein you use these measures of central tendency, dispersion, correlation, etc. Then uh, research has got huge applications of statistics like how do you collect data, what type of data to be collected, what are the methods of collecting data and then how do you do analysis, what are the different types of analysis, how do you interpret based on your analysis, then comes your, uh, you might have uh, created some hypothesis, how do you test those hypotheses? Then you have this conjoint analysis, factor analysis, which are used in widely in marketing research. So all these are some of the applications of statistics. Then it has got definitely some limitations. It does not deal with the individual measurements. Means if I take a single person and if I want to do any analysis, that is not possible because you need somebody, uh, some more data to compare or uh, to have an average and all those things. With individual measurements, you can't. Uh, do any statistics related analysis does not deal with qualitative data but qualitative data can be can be converted to a quantitative data by assigning some numbers to those uh, numerical data right so whenever you talk about statistics you actually talk about the average data only because you can't do generally on uh, your collection of data cannot be on population always you may have to go for random sampling if you go for random sampling you may go for averages of those. So any predictions or any conclusions or any inferences you are arriving, it's all based on averages only. So you can say it is only true on averages. You can't say that uh, every data point may satisfy what you want to communicate. Statistical tools do not provide the best solution under all circumstances. Yes, you may be specifying the circumstances. Maybe, for example, if I am analyzing the past data and trying to forecast the future, then even my future, I'm assuming that the conditions, environmental conditions are similar to the past. So it cannot be for all circumstances. Suddenly the circumstances change, those things may not be applicable for my future. So because of all these problems, statistics can be misused or misinterpreted because it does not entirely, entirely reveal the entire story because it is all based on some of the samples what you are trying to uh, collect and based on the sample only you are trying to uh, come out with your conclusions. Statistical relations do not necessarily bring out the cause and effect relationship between different events, phenomena, different events. Of course, uh, it may not exactly bring you the cause and effect because there may be some variables which may be present over there, which might not be considered in our, uh, uh, what do you call analysis or uh, conclusions. So that is, these are all uh, some of the limitations in statistics. So in case if you find this uh, content of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Take care.